is that the top or the bottom of the screen? The bottom. The bottom. Good. So this is this is the sclera. It's, it's that dense uh, dense fibrous tissue. You can see all those collagen fibers there. Here's the choroid. It looks black or brown. It's got all the pigmentation and the blood supply. And here is the retina. And so the light's going to be coming in this way. Okay, stimulates those uh, rods and cones, and then the remaining light is going to be absorbed by these pigmented layers. Okay, so main layer of the eye is retina here, main layer choroid, and main layer sclera. Okay, so this one then shows you the rows of cells. Okay, so it's best to keep in mind that the rods and cones, oh, it's off here, the labels are off there, oh, that's okay. The rods and cones are the innermost, okay, so you do have to kind of remember the order. The rods and cones are the innermost layer of nuclei. The bipolar are going to be the middle layer of nuclei, and then the ganglion layer of nuclei, it can be pretty sparse. It's, I've seen it look quite a bit more sparse than that, but that one's going to be the inside. And yeah, it is true, the light comes in through this way, it passes past these other cells. Those, light, those cells aren't stimulated by light. Bipolar cells is not going to do anything. But when it hits the rods and cones, that's when they're stimulated, and then they pass that information this way. So yeah, those kind of go this way and then backwards, someone noted. Okay, so nuclei of bipolar cells, nuclei of ganglion cells, and way out here on the, on the wall, Nuclei of rods and cones. Okay, so this is close up of that same. Okay, so when I, I could ask you to identify, okay, what are these cells here? And you just say rods and cones. Photoreceptor cells would also be acceptable, but rods and cones is more specific. What are these cells here? Bipolar, 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 bipolar cells. cells. Yeah, if you put nuclei of bipolar cells, that's fine. What are these cells? Ganglion, Ganglion cells. cells. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, this one is, is cool because it shows these are all of the cells that are involved, and that's all part of the retina. But then we also have this very tiny sub layer of the retina that's that pigmented, pigmented layer. You may not have been able to see that in, in the slide because it just kind of runs in next to the choroid. So just cool that you can see that here. And then here's the choroid, really dark pigmentation there. The retina that peeled up in the cow eye didn't take the choroid with it, right? Is that why the interior... Yeah, the dark? retina in the cow eye was that white flimsy layer right. and it didn't come off with the, the choroid. choroid. So okay. you probably your retina kind of pulled up and then you saw the choroid, the dark layer. Yeah, and I, and I wanted to mention that too. You guys saw the tapetum lucidum that was part of the choroid, that was the, the bright colored stuff. That's what allows the light to reflect back out of many animals' eyes and we don't have that. Okay, this is a great picture showing where the optic disc is. Okay, so what you wanna look for when you look for the optic disc is you wanna look for the lack of this organization. So you've got this organization of cells with the layers of nuclei you can make out here, and then it stops, okay, that goes away. So this is your optic disc where you don't have that. You just have these neurons, these ganglion cells that are coming in to then synapse with the next group of cells. Okay, so this is the optic disc. It's the anterior side of the nerve. So this is the optic nerve coming away from that. That was the blind spot? Yep, optic disc is the blind spot. That's what you created, that blind spot. You guys looked at that, at that paper. Darn, okay, we'll definitely put up that monkey eye because it is such a cool slide. I think we got everything out of this that we're gonna get. Okay, we got everything out of